the three key takeaways for leaders from my new book, Dangerous, is firstly that there are always threats around us and that we have to pay attention to these threats. And very often we don't like to look at our threats because it seems overwhelming, it seems daunting. And even in some cases, I think we think it's quite pessimistic to pay attention to threats. I don't know for whatever reason that might happen, but we tend to think that we should only look at the good things, the opportunities in our lives. And so we don't pay attention to our threats and therefore we become undone by them. And ultimately, a lot of the success that you achieve in life is really determined by how you respond to threats. So I'd say the very first takeaway is that there are threats and your response to these threats really matter. Secondly, is that very often, how you respond is inadequate, that you don't have what it takes. And it might be that you don't have the skill or you don't have the mindset to overcome this threat. And when this happens, you are harmless against the threat and you very often end up in this place called survival mode. We all know survival mode. We've been there various times in our lives. It's this place where you are always reactive, where it feels like you are just trying to get through the day. It's a horrible place to be. But ultimately, we end up there quite often because we underestimate the threat. We don't pay attention to it. We don't orient ourselves towards the threat. And then the third takeaway is that that doesn't have to be your response to the threat. That's not the only option that you have. That actually, you don't have to be harmless. You don't have to end up in survival mode. There's a better option available to you and that is to be dangerous. And that simply means that you become effective against the threat that is in front of you. And of course, this means that we first need to know what the threat is. We need to have the situational awareness of what's happening around us. But we also need the self-awareness to know, is it my thinking, my feeling, or the things that I'm doing that's preventing me from being effective in this situation. And the more you can come to grips with that, the more you can become aware of these patterns of how you are showing up, the more you can change those patterns. And so by changing how you think, how you feel and how you act, you become effective against the threat. And I think that's ultimately what this book is all about. It's just saying, you know what, be effective against your threats, be a threat to the threat. And if you can do that, then you get to be dangerous.